the first and foremost sacred secret i want you to know integrity is falling in love with your higher personality understand you do have sadashivatva in you you are hard wired for it it's not that your sadashivatva is gift from somebody no understand just like how when you fall asleep you put a alarm and tell the alarm hey wake me up tomorrow morning same way that's exactly the way i sent my gurus i sent my gurus to the planet earth ahead of me and said hey i am coming wake me up when i assume the human body my alarm clocks were my gurus hey wake me up understand they just reminded me to fall in love with my higher personality sada shiva i started my public life in a very young age immediately after 12 after i realized my enlightenment I took my first padayatra as per my guru's instruction. That padayatra is my first enriching padayatra. See, I should say I started organized public life in 2000. But my public life started in when I was 12. How I started my public life? One person at a time. I will walk from village to village sit spend some time a small boy naturally people will be curious all alone they will come and try to talk to me then i'll start talking to them and start enriching whatever little way i know it was a raw crude ground level way one person at a time so i decided i am going to start my own way one person at a time enude enude room pakkathu room da avaru irundha pole or chinna irumbu petti onnu irukku andha irumbu pettiyile dinandorum kaalil 5 manikku endukku ore number enga car hostel le முதல் நபர் அவரா தான் போறேன் புளிச்சிட்டு வந்துட்டு தினந்தோறும் பூஜை செய்வோம்ல பூஜை செய்து விட்டுட்டு யாரெல்லாம் அவர்கிட்ட போயிட்டு ஆசிர்வாதம் கேட்கிறாரோ அவரை தின்னு வச்சு இன்றைக்கு இன்றைய நாள் நன்றாக இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி எல்லாருக்கும் ஆசிர்வாதம் பண்ணுவோம்ல ஆனா அந்த சிரிப்பினுடைய அர்த்தம் எனக்கு இப்பதான் கரெக்டா புரியுது ஏன்னா அது வந்து ஒரு தெய்வீக சிரிப்புன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த தெய்வீக சிரிப்பு என்னால இப்பவும் நல்லா உணரும் ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> parivraj yatra happens only when you move out of joy i tell you i was moving like a banyan leaf in the breeze when a leaf falls from the tree in the breeze how it moves that's the way i moved in my life that is why my parivrajika even to remember is a joy for me I tell you 
shortest distance between two points is a straight line so most smartest strategy is hard work with integrity that's all that's the most smartest strategy i decided let me sit and start doing start empowering start enriching it's actually that is the way i remember me even now when i close my eyes i don't remember me sitting in a golden throne when i close my eyes i only remember the boy village boy with a stick on his shoulder a kamandalu before hindus could recognize i have created a very powerful enlightenment ecosystem everywhere the spiritual awakening is happening enlightenment is happening people are manifesting enlightenment manifesting powers everything kailasa is reviving the enlightenment ecosystem the kailasa will be the place where almost million man power manifestors are living and running at least 10 million temples and monasteries which are spiritual embassies of paramashiva and reviving this enlightenment power manifesting civilization kailasa is a place where everything related to super consciousness is revived all the sampradaya all the spiritual ecosystems Elasa is a place where everything related to super consciousness is revived all the sampradaya all the spiritual ecosystems created for enlightenment will be revived and established in such a way it never gets lost there forever serving the humanity